Wood is one of the most important things in Roblox Skyblock for quests mainly because, well, the banker gives you the easiest quests and for a lot of them you need a whole bunch of wood. So that's why I'll be showing how to make a very overpowered tree farm. So make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for a lot of Skyblock videos, like the video, and join the Discord server in Roblox group linked in the description for trading and talking about Skyblock, but... Hopefully this helps you, and let me know in the comments what your farm is for wood, or if you have a wood farm, because I want to see if anyone has a really effective one. But this is the one that I've used to get my banker to level like 120 something. But you may notice my base is a lot different, well I kinda removed all of my trees because... I figured out that that was a terrible farm and it was not good at all, I don't know why I made it like that, and it was just a terrible idea, so I literally just deleted, or not deleted, but mined all of my trees, and uh, yeah, but as you can see my banker is level 127, which is really overpowered, and well, I kinda have way more than enough wood to continue leveling it up, I just took a break because it was super high level already, and I kinda wanted to change my base. So yeah, I made some totems and stuff so I can do other quests, like the block guy, he wants me to mine a lot of things. Okay, so if you have under 1k money, then just get like one of each tree or try to get one of each tree. If you have uh, over uh, 1k money, then uh, try to get a few of each tree. If you have over 10k, then try to get like 10 of each tree. If you have over 100k, try to get 30 of each tree. And if you have over a million, then uh, this is the best thing you can do. Get 60 of each tree. So... Yeah, I kind of have a lot of trees because I had them all around my base. I have 123 regular trees and all that, but I kind of have uh, 2 billion. By the way, I don't know if it was a good idea that I made this episode 1 of Skyblock. I guess if I'm not doing something that's really huge, I'm just showing how to build something or something like that. It will be an episode of playing Skyblock, so this is episode 1. Most people start off episodes by being new to the game. I'm starting off episodes by being one of the richest players and having a max block island. But anyways, so I have that place in the back for new trees and later updates and same with here. But you want to have a good tree place to place trees. So now what you want to do... Okay, so you want to probably build up like how I have it where I have a bridge and the sides aren't touching anything. The sides can touch stuff, but it has to be flat. If it's going up, then it's going to block the tree and it's not going to be good. So this side is going to be my regular tree side. So what you want to do, just plant these all along in a line. You can make it two wide, three wide, or even four wide. If you make it more than four wide... You can even make it 5, I guess, but if you make it more than that, then it's just gonna be uh, harder to do. Just do 3, that's my suggestion. Okay, now you saw I did 3 like that. You can make it as long as you want, just don't make it too long, because if you make it too long, then the trees will grow by the time that you're finished. Now what you want to do, you want to put a different tree on the other side, or I guess you can put the same tree if you make a lot, but I only have two areas, so I'm splitting it in half, so there's four. I don't have that many of this tree, so I'm not going to speed it up. But just place different trees on different sides, like how I did it. And I don't have many pine trees though, I have a lot of other trees. I don't have many pine or maple trees. But now for the second side, you want to do the same thing. So we'll put this all here, and then I'll put the other one there, and then it will be good. So this is way more effective because if you guys watched my previous videos and saw my trees, the only thing good about it was the design, how I had stairs on all the sides, and it looked pretty cool, but it was terrible for farming. 
because while well, all of them were apart and I had to place them ex in the exact spot, now you just place them right by each other and it's way better. So my suggestion is to go from cheap to expensive, so the first tree, the second tree, the third tree, and the fourth tree over here. So I'm probably gonna buy some more maple trees and definitely some more pine trees. I mean, I don't really need to since maple for the quests, you need half as much as you do for the other trees and for the pine trees and the birch trees. You only need a hundred of either one, you don't have to have a specific one for quests. So, yeah, this is the perfect tree farm. You can farm trees the fastest like this. There's no way to auto-farm trees, though. The only way you could auto-farm trees would be if they added, like, some tree totem or something, which I highly doubt that they're going to do. Because, well, the trees are kind of just a tree totem, except they don't look like a totem, and they don't drop things when you put them by a conveyor. But it... Actually, it would make sense if you put it by conveyor and it dropped, like, leaves or something. But, yeah, you just do this, and then I'll show you guys what I mean by a fast tree farm. You don't have to wait for the other ones to grow. Once one of them grows, watch this. So I just destroy one, and then boom, instantly, another one respawns. So this is so overpowered, because you can just basically infinitely farm trees, and then you can just replant them after you farm all of them. But you won't really forget, like, if you have trees placed around your base spaced out, then you'll forget the exact place and accidentally misplace them. But if you do it like this, then it's a big pro because, like, you, you cannot mess up planting them unless if your mouse dies or something and you throw your keyboard and uh, then it just turns your mouse. But other than that, there's no way to misplant something when doing this. So... It's so fast, it's the best way. I've seen some people do stuff like this, but they put it by a wall, so they kind of waste the first 9 trees in the front, or like the first 20 trees in the front, because they just have it in a corner. So, you want to have a big open area like this. This is a way better tree farm than I had before, and I might expand it a little bit, like... Since I don't have max maple trees or not, nah, I won't do it like that. I'd probably just make it where I have a pathway over here and then it leads back and I have more trees. I don't know, I'll figure out something. I always do. And then I'd make it so that I can fit more trees. But right now I have a small tree area at the back for the next update. And then I guess I could also have this as a small tree area. If they had like two new types of trees, I can do one in the front, one in the back, or... This is the front, this is the back. But, yeah, this is a pretty overpowered tree farm. I've gotten about 10,000 wood in total from farming like this. Because, well, the banker are actually about 20,000 wood. Because, if you guys think about it, easy math, this is the proof. So, if you go to the banker, then... Uh, my banker is level 127, and let me open up my calculator, 127 times 4, so I've completed 508 quests. Now about half of them he's given me have been dealing with wood, or about a third maybe, so I've gotten about 170 to 254 quests worth of stuff, so... 254 plus 170 divided by 2, so on average I've gotten about 212 quests dealing with wood, and since two of the three quests are to do with 100 wood and one is only 50, so that would be times 87.5, and in total I have gotten on average or estimated 18,550 wood for the banker quests. Now that is a lot of wood. Now I didn't have this farm at my base, but well, since I'm at max blocks and one of my friends that's new wanted to do stuff, I just built it on his base and then I farmed it. I built two huge wood farms on his base, but yeah, that's super overpowered. I got a lot of wood from it. I'd buy wood, but since I'm only 500k over 2 billion, then, well, I don't want to drop it below 2 billion, because I, like, just hit 2 billion two videos ago, and I've only gotten 500k since then, since I'm keeping all my other secret items and not trading them away, because if I did, then I wouldn't have any more. 
but yeah hopefully this farm helped you make sure to subscribe with notifications on for a lot of skyblock videos like the video because this is a very overpowered wood farming thing that you can do and join the discord server and roblox group links in the description for trading and talking about skyblock and i'll make another skyblock video later today maybe how not to play roblox skyblock part 3 i don't know i'll think of something Last thing, a shout out to all my channel members, if you want to see your name on this board, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button, and then join the channel, and your name will be on this list next video, along with special stuff in live streams and video premieres, like a chat tag, chat color, symbol by your name, and a whole bunch of other stuff in live streams and video premieres, so if you want to and you do, then thanks, but... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, YouTube!